MANIFS is another statistical function that has been introduced in Excel 2019 and Office 365. The MANIFS function allows you to find the smallest value in a range after applying one or more criteria. So let's get started. Here we have a table of data that consists of golf team, player, and score columns. For our first example, let's find the minimum score for group A. We'll begin by entering the minifs command. As you can see, the minifs function takes a number of parameters. The first parameter is the range of cells that contains the smallest or minimum value. In this example, we'll use range C2 to C9, which is our score column, since we want to find the minimum score. The second parameter is the range of cells to apply your criteria against. In this example, we'll enter the range A2 to A9. This is the range of cells that we'll test to see if they meet our criteria. The third parameter is the criteria that will be applied against the range A2 to A9. In our example, we'll enter group A in quotes. The MINIFS function will test each value in the range A2 to A9 to see if the golf team is group A. Since we only want to apply one criteria, these are all the parameters that we need, so let's see what the MINIFS function returns. You should see the value 69 appear. This is the smallest score for group A. Now let's see how to apply two criteria using the MINIFS function. So for this example, let's find the minimum score for group B, where the score is greater than zero. Again, we will enter the minifs command and start with the same first two parameters that we entered in the first example by entering the range C2 to C9 as the first parameter and A2 to A9 as the second parameter. This time we will enter group B in quotes as the third parameter. Now it's time to apply our second criteria by entering two more parameters. Since we only want to include scores that are greater than zero, we will enter the range C2 to C9 as the fourth parameter, which contains our score values, and greater than zero as the final parameter. The MINIFS function will test each value in the range C2 to C9 to see if it is greater than zero. Now let's see what this formula returns. You should see the value 75 appear as the result. In this example, only the minimum score is included in the calculations if both the golf team is group B and the score is greater than zero. So only these cells matched, giving us 75 as the smallest value. Finally, let's see how to use wildcards in the minifs function. In Excel, there are two different wildcard characters, the asterisk and the question mark. The asterisk allows you to match any string of any length whereas the question mark allows you to match only on a single character. Let's use the asterisk wildcard to find the minimum score for all golfers whose name starts with the letter S, such as Sarah and Samantha. So again, we will start with the minifs function and enter the range C2 to C9 as the first parameter. Then we will enter the range B2 to B9 as the second parameter, which contains our player names. Finally, we will enter S asterisk as the third parameter since we are only looking at names that start with the letter S. Now let's see what results we get. You should see 78 appear as the result, which is the minimum score for all players whose name starts with the letter S. So this would include players such as Sarah and Samantha. And that covers our examples of how to use Excel's MINIFS function. If you would like to see more examples, or would like to download the sample data we used for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. We've also included links in the comments below. If you have found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.